So I just want to do a really quick, I'm at my parents, so I came to paint these plates. So I'm doing the red. It's the, oh, they're upside down. It is the garden tomb plate, and I'm painting the red before they go and get dipped in like this finish that <clears throat> gives them that stone look. They're cast in a limestone that's a local limestone from Israel. So it's really cool. And I actually do need glasses to do these, but I do want to do a really, really quick one. Um, I'm going to have coffee with my mother. I already made coffee. And I'm going to paint these plates. I might as well get this day. You know, it's something that I can do for my income. <laughs> so I want to do a really quick, quick one about that the chasing energy <clears throat> that we feel on the journey, on the twin flame journey, the chasing energy, it's like a sneaky energy. It comes in without you even realizing that it's there. And the thing is with this synchronicity with your twin is that because it's an energetic journey and because uh, we can feel each other's energy, uh, when, you, when it sneaks in that chasing energy, it, uh, pushes, it pushes your twin away. And a lot of times you don't even know that you're doing it until after. And so I had this realization about yesterday about my chasing energy. I was saying in an earlier video that I did this morning that yesterday I felt a little bit of the chasing energy. And now it's really coming to me that, yeah, I was in, I, I had a, a big fit of chasing energy yesterday. When you are in your life and you just, your life revolves around your life and you're following your nose and everything comes into being in the nat natural way then there is no uh, to cute cute is like it flows it all flows it doesn't get stuck in all sorts of places so I was going to give it an example in the 3d world of where yesterday I the chasing energy so yesterday I got some packages ready and I took them into town to send them and well, before I was going into town my son called me and said, and I told him I'm going into town and he said well good you can pick me up and take me home and I had the chasing energy right I was in the mode of, well, after that, maybe I'll meet with my twin. And that's why I called my twin to meet with him. And so this is like, this is really, for me, like really lowering, lowering my ego to be able to say this and admit this on a video. But, you know, if I'm doing a service to other people on this journey, then I feel like that uh, this is part of it, being completely honest about also the, the places that I flub you know, and you flub, you can't, you are where you are. So it's all part of the, you know, you, like I was saying it in before in, in previous videos that you really do have to let go. You can't pretend to let go. You have to let go because if you're not let go, it comes out in the physical world, the, the chasing. And because we have this telepathic connection, and uh, then, then he picks up on that chasing energy no matter what. And so I was thinking to myself, like the natural way course of things would be, would be to tell my son, yeah, sure, I'm in town, come, let's go meet. I wanted to go out and eat. He also wanted to go out and eat. And I told him, you know, just to make something when he gets home. And instead of just being with my son and doing the natural, taking the natural course of things, I told my son to take a, a bus home because I might want to go to the beach and I want to be free afterwards and I want to be able to do my own thing, which I really did want to do my own thing. And I like being free, but it had to do with that chasing energy of leaving my options open. And that is not being in the right place. It's not coming from the right place. See, the natural, the most loving, the most, uh, you know, I'm kind of finding like this twin flame journey is kind of, you have to let go and be in your own life and being in my own life would be taking care fully of my own. You know, my son wants me to pick him up um, and I hadn't seen him in a couple of days. The, the natural and, and, and right thing to do would have been to, you know, as a loving mother, it would have been to tell him, yeah, for sure. Come and meet me at the post office and we'll go and get something to eat together and then I'll take you home. And in doing that, it doesn't matter what would have happened with my twin, regardless, it doesn't matter. But the energy would have been different. It wouldn't have been that chasing energy. 
so the more the more you know I realize that this is a progress this is a process this is something that you you know you can't be where you're at before you're there it's one of those things that you have to you have to experience you have to flub up you have to have those places where where the energy is off in, in order to yeah you have to have it off in order to make it right in order to bring it into the center so it is what it is, and I'm admitting to it, and I'm even admitting to it here. This is, you know, one of the more difficult places for me to admit it. You know, it's it's actually openly coming out and saying, okay, here's where it is, pinpointing places that my energy was off and realizing that it was off. And in that, it's like owning it. It's like owning it, and then I don't have to do it again. Or I do. Who knows? But that uh, chasing energy on the twin flame journey is sneaky energy. It sneaks in and you don't even realize that you're having it. It's like you're, it's, it, it, it's, it's like the demons in you that take over and you don't realize that you're doing it until after. And so now when I look at it, it's like obvious to me. It's like, wait, that was totally off of me. That was completely off. I'm off of my center, off of my life. Um, you know, and I feel like also with the twin flame journey that to, in order to have a union, a twin flame union, um, you know, that chasing energy or putting or trying to catch him or trying to make it about him, it also puts him in the spotlight and puts him in an off place because that's a lot of pressure to have. Like my whole being is dependent on what you do. That's a lot of pressure. Whereas if I'm in my life and I'm being true to my life and my children, I'm going to finish this because my mom's coming in now. Then, then I can just be in my own life and be doing my thing. And if he wants to come in and be a part of it, he can. So it's allowing him also space to be drawn in rather than me chasing and then him running. So that's what I have to say about that. I thought that was pretty interesting how I was able to actually see it. So have a wonderful day.